Today at Godby High School, we have a lot going on. As you can see, I'm wearing a pink wig in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But in addition, we have an AT&T simulation out on our campus today where students are able to come and sit in a car and simulate that they are texting while driving. We brought this out to campus today because we know that so many of our students have cameras, have phones, have that digital technology at their fingertips, and when they hear that bing go off saying they have a message on Facebook or somebody's just text them or they have an email, instantly they want to respond, even when they're driving. And so today we brought this out to camp on our campus so that students can understand just how important it is that they leave their mobile devices off while they're driving. Every time they reach for that phone and they answer a phone call or they decide to respond to a text, it's minutes, seconds where their eyes are not on the road where they need to be. And we want students to understand just how important it is when you take your eyes off the road, even just for three or four seconds, what can happen. the intersection, continue straight. Um, it's really helpful to let us teens know that texting and driving is not good. Like, I know some people who do it, I know other people who do it. Uh, I can let them know about it, about what happened in the simulation. What did you expect to, to happen when you got in here? I mean, I knew I was going to crash. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I knew I was going to crash. I'm not a pro yet. I'm not going to attempt to be a pro either. This is part of a national initiative against texting and driving. We've surveyed and found that 70% of high school students have admitted to doing it. And half of that group say they learned it from adults. So our first big part of this program is to visit high schools across the country and we've set this up so that they can experience what it's like to text and drive and lose control in a safe way. But it's still you know high quality graphics, a real car, they're really driving it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and we're going 25 miles per hour. Oh, shucks. Good God. I expected that I would probably crash the car. I, I really did. I've, um, I, I think. I've seen people texting while driving. I don't do that. One, I don't text as well as some of the, the, the kids and so forth. But um, I've seen them texting and I've seen them drive slowly when they should be driving a little more fast. I've seen them go across lines. And um, so what I experienced was kind of what I thought I'd see. But I didn't know that I'd be the one doing it. I think that this experiment, if you would, this, this simulation is one that just about everybody that has a cell phone who uses that cell phone to text and drive should experience. This is an eye-opening episode in the realities of the dangers that this behavior can cause. Um, you can destroy property and you can destroy people.